A legend of the race is now cheering from the sideline. Remy Spears. Hey, never seen you before. No? <laughs> Not right here, you haven't. He's often referred to as the father of the Iditarod, Joe Reddington Sr. He founded the race 50 years ago, and now his grandson, Ryan Reddington, is racing and is first into the second checkpoint, Sweatin'. I think a lot about the great mushers over the, over the years past, a lot about my family, you know, a lot about my grandpa. Um, it's quite the race, and I'm honored to be a part of it. It's uphill most of the way from Sweatna to the third checkpoint, Finger Lake. So I guess my brake bar on my sled, which is like the thing that takes the most abuse, right? Because, you know, it's stopping 14 dogs. I signed in, I put my brake in the snow and it snapped. Along the trail, we meet a familiar face within the sport of mushing. Four-time Iditarod winner, Lance Mackey. This year, he is not a competitor, but a spectator. Not to rub salt in, but what is it like to watch the 50th, you know, from the sidelines here? It stings a little bit, no doubt. But um, as everybody knows, I have other things uh, I'm dealing with, and, um, you know, father and two young kids, and I just couldn't um, do my treatments and uh, raise kids and train dogs. And uh, there's some, you know, there's a couple teams here that have some of my dogs in them anyway, so I'm still a little bit of a part. This is the first time I've ever been a part of it, stand on Crystal Lake, that's for sure. Like being so involved in the Iditarod, like if you look back, like what, what's the one thing that stands out to you? Um, I guess like most everybody here, you know, at least one to ten days a year, we're, we're somebody, you know, and that's, this event has allowed us to become somebody. If it wasn't for dog racing in this event, we would just be people with dogs. What, baby? You need to stop and stand right here. Watch the dogs you go by. Just watch. Um, and, and I have every intention of, you know, raising my kids around the event and the sport. Let's go! Hey, never seen you before. No? Not right here, you haven't. <laughs> From Finger Lake to Rainy Pass, the trail gets tough down the extremely steep Happy River Steps. Ryan Reddington is holding strong in the lead pack and is first into Rainy Pass. The steps was, uh, was very good, a lot of snow and very smooth. I didn't tip over at all and uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's always, you know, anticipation for it to be the worst, but it was very, very good. And uh, I saw a moose coming over here, and we stopped for a while for it was on the trail, and and then uh, it ran in front of the team for about three quarters of a mile, and then it finally exited the trail. I was a little nervous there. The dogs were real excited ch chasing it. The dogs would bark and then the moose would keep going again. After chasing that moose, I don't want to be the lead team uh, tonight, so I might rest a little longer uh, just to give somebody else a chance to scare the moose off. Soon, Richie Deal comes in second, followed by Dan Cadis. You know, the dog's really being amped up from the start um, and trying to get them into a good run-rest schedule. You know, I think perfect for him right now to just sunbathe and soak up the heat and enjoy it a little. I mean, yesterday we ran through the majority of the heat of the day, so um, I think this is a well-needed rest and I think it'll help further down. The uh, potential poor trail conditions they were warning us about didn't seem to be there. It's been really, really nice trail and uh, a little bit warm during the day for running, but it was it even cooled down really nice last night, and it was just perfect. Any moose encounters? Nope. I don't even I don't I haven't even seen a fresh track, so it's been really really <laughs> really good. Fourth into Rainy Pass is Dallas Seavey. 
showing some good sportsmanship. My life has pretty much been I did a rod <laughs> since the very beginning. Uh, so yeah, I can't help but think about the history of it and you know, all the different people and dogs that have been involved with it. Looking good, buddy. Those are some really bright booties. <laughs> Brent Sauce is heading towards the fifth checkpoint, Rhone. Who will make it to Rhone first? Stay with us for highlights from day three.